the formal definition of a functional dependency is this uh, whenever you have a determines b where uh, a can be a collection of attributes and b can be a collection of attributes then what is the real meaning is this one see let us say there are two tuples t1 and t2 in the table and you know this is a collection of a attributes and that is collection of b attributes if t1 and t2 agree here which means if t1 and t2 are having same values in a then they must have same values in in here then only insertions will be possible right and if t1 and t2 disagree here which means if t1 and t2 are having different values for a then you know they may agree or disagree here so what i mean to say is let us say that particular functional dependency is uh, applicable for a table when do you think that a functional dependency is applicable for a table whenever all the attributes present here and here are also present on the relation schema then that particular uh, functional dependency has to be applied on every such uh, relation okay so before you insert or delete or before uh, generally insertions only right generally whenever you try to update it or modify it we are going to see that you know this functional dependency always holds on all the relationships for which it is applicable let us say this is the table and there are some set of attributes even though i am writing it as as if it is two columns a and b might be two columns which means might be simple attributes or they might be collection of attributes right now what is that say? they are saying if a determines b is a functional dependency you have defined then definitely on this table whenever a values agree which means if a values are like this same then they must agree here also which means b value should also be the same so if it is a here it should be a right if they don't agree which means let us say it is 2 3 right and here they may or may not agree which means uh, you know either you could have a here or you could have b here it is valid got it so now if you observe it by defining it this way right so if you observe it by defining it this way what happened is everything here so for example a derives b see this for a given value of a a value of b is unique and in case if it is different we never check about it got it so functional dependency means it is applicable wherever you know in some part of the relation if it is applicable then wherever you see the left hand side as same then the right hand side should be same and if it is different it is going to be different right so why are we going to insert two times the same left hand side see uh, it is definitely possible right the entire relation as a whole should not get repeated but a part of it can get repeated there is no problem right and now especially this is going to cause the, such entries are going to cause redundancy let us say we have one more time one a one more time one a one more time one a right now instead of storing at this entire thing in this table we could have stored it in a separate table simply containing a and b and then we have only one attribute like this right so instead of all this one two three four five we can have just one tuple and that one will represent this the redundancy can be eliminated so the entire focus here is you know making every functional dependency applicable to a uh, one particular table in which the left hand side is not repeated see here the left hand side is repeated because a is not a primary key for this table got it in case if you make it a primary key definitely left hand side will not get repeated if left left hand side doesn't get repeated then there will be no redundancy redundancy is only when left hand side is you know repeated isn't it see the rule is this if t1 and t2 agree which means if two uh, tuples are having the same value for a then only they are, we are getting the same values here then only we are getting the redundancy in case if we can make it a primary key how can you make it a primary key you make it a separate table itself completely in that table you can make it a primary key in that you see that you know all the values of a are different right then there will be no redundancy at all okay fine anyway that is the formal defini definition of uh, functional dependencies okay